Hi everyone, welcome to the 6th lecture of the series Karman filter using Marla. In this lecture, we discuss some numerical examples and the simulation of the Karman filter. Here is the overview. We start with the Karman filter algorithm. Then we move on to the simulation in which we consider examples from linear time invariant and linear time varying systems. Let us start by recalling the Kalman filter algorithm from the previous lecture. For the linear time varying system, we define the sets A, B, C, Q and R, which contains the system matrices, input matrices, output matrices, and disturbance variance matrices and noise variance matrices at each time instant over the time horizon as its elements. Now in the Kalman filter algorithm, we start with the expectation and variance of the initial state, which we denoted as x0 given 0 hat and p0 given 0. Then during each time in k, we compute the predicted state xk given k minus 1 hat and the variance pk given k minus 1 using the system model and the variance parameters. Now using pk given k minus 1 and the system parameters, we compute the estimator gain lk. Also, we obtain yk and yk given k minus 1 hat from the sensor measurements and the output equation. Now, using all this information, we compute the estimate of the current state xk given k hat and the variance pk given k using the Kalman filter equation and the difference Riccati equation. This we will repeat at each time instant k till the end of the time horizon n. The Kalman filter algorithm basically gives the estimate of the state vector in terms of its expectation and variance. Next, we move on to the simulation of the Kalman filter. For the Kalman filter simulation, we start with the linear time invariant system example from lecture number 4, in which the system matrix, input matrix, and output matrix are chosen as in equation number 1. The simulation parameters are chosen as in equation number 2, in which we select the initial state x0, the disturbance dk, and the noise vk as Gaussian random vectors. Here, R2 is a two dimensional Gaussian random vector with mean 0 and variance as the identity matrix and R1 is a Gaussian random variable with mean 0 and variance 1. Figure 1 shows the simulation response of the ATA system with the Kalman filter in which we have the plots for the actual state x1k, x2k and the estimated states x1k hat, x2k hat, the elements of the gain matrix lk and the diagonal elements of the Riccati matrix pk given k. From the plot of lk and pk, we can observe that LK and PK converge to some fixed matrices as K increases. From the plot of PK, we can observe that the variance of X1 converges to a value around 2 and the variance of X2 converges to some value around 8. This means that in steady state, the estimate of X2 has more randomness than X1, which we can also observe from the plots for the state estimate. Figure 2 shows the plots for the diagonal elements of the Riccati matrices pk given k minus 1 and pk given k. Here, pk given k minus 1 is the variance of the prediction state error, and pk given k is the variance of the estimation error obtained after adding the correction time, which is based on the sensor based measurements. From the plot, we can observe that pk given k is less than or equal to pk given k minus 1, which we had shown theoretically in the previous lecture. This basically implies that by using the current measurement information, we can reduce the variance of the estimation error. Next, we discuss the simulation of the linear time varying system example from lecture 4, in which the system matrix, input matrix, and output matrix are chosen as in equation number 3, and the system parameters are chosen as in equation number 4. The simulation parameters are chosen as in equation number 5, which is same as in the previous example. For the LTV system, we obtain the simulated response of the Kalman filter as in figure 3, which shows the plots for the actual states x1k, x2k, and the estimated states x1k hat, x2k hat, elements of the estimator gain matrix LK, and the diagonal elements of the Riccati matrix PK given K. From the plots of the gain matrix and Riccati matrix elements, we can observe that here LK and PK does not converge to fixed matrices because of the time varying nature of AK and BK. The state response shows that the Kalman filter can estimate the states of linear time varying system as well with sufficient accuracy. 
Next, we consider the second example of the linear time varying system from lecture number 4, for which the system matrix, input matrix, and output matrix are chosen as in equation number 6, and the system parameters are chosen as in equation number 7. Here, even though the matrices AK and BK are time varying, it converges to A and B respectively as K increases. This is because here minus 0 0.75 raised to K and minus 0 0.5 raised to K converges to 0 as K increases. The simulation parameters are chosen as in equation number 8, which is same as in the previous example. Now, figure 4 shows the response of the linear time varying system with the Kalman filter. Here, from the products of the gain matrix and recording matrix elements, we can observe that the matrices LK and PK given K converge to some fixed matrices as K increases. This is because of the reason that here the matrices AK and BK converge to A and B as K increases, which leads to the convergence of LK and PK given K. This basically implies in steady state, we can use a fixed gain matrix L and the variance will be given by a fixed matrix P. Finally, we can have some remarks based on the simulation results. We observe that for the LTA system, the gain matrix LK and the recording matrix PK given K converges to some steady state matrices L and P as K increases. Whereas for the LTV system, the convergence of LK and PK given K depends on the convergence of system parameters AK and PK. And we observe that the Kalman filter gives the estimate of the state with the lesser variance than the Kalman predictor. This basically implies the estimate given by the Kalman filter is more reliable than the estimate given by the Kalman predictor. This is because of the reason that in Kalman filter, we use the current measurement information for the estimate of the current state. Whereas in Kalman predictor, the previous measurement information are used for the estimate of the current state. That completes this lecture. Thanks for listening.